How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. This is going to be a tutorial on how to use part of your hard drive space as RAM storage. So if you have like very little RAM and you can't afford to get any more or just don't have any more slots or something and you need more space for your computer, you can use actually part of your hard drive space as your RAM. So first thing you want to do is go into like the search bar and type in PC and you'll see this PC, right click it and go to properties. And then once you're in properties, go to advanced system settings here. And under the advanced tab, which should be the first tab that pops up, um, it's under the performance area. So go to settings on that. And then under that, go to the advanced tab. And then from there, you'll see this thing called virtual memory. It says a paging file is an area on the hard disk where Windows uses as if it were part of RAM. So right there, you want to click change. Uh, most of the time, it's automatically set here. But occasionally, I've seen it where it isn't for some reason. I'm not sure why. Probably the most recent Windows updates make it automatic. Um, but yeah, so you can go here uh, if you like uncheck the automatic managing thing and then you can select which hard drive you want it on So if you want to like have a separate like small SSD you want to use for it go for that uh, Make sure you click whichever one it is and then click custom size and then just type in the initial size You want it as and the most it'll use so I'll just say like I don't know a one gig Which is 1024 megabytes or just put a thousand and then the maximum size is how much you want so how much space basically this space won't be used for storage it'll automatically be reserved for the RAM so whatever you want to put in there I'm just gonna put like let's say five gigs about 5,000 somewhere around there and then just click OK and then it'll say changes have been made you're gonna need to restart your computer OK apply OK and then it'll pop up with like a restart now restart later thing uh, and that's pretty much it guys so this is a little different than actual RAM it'll be slower just because it's using your hard drive. This is basically just a uh, end all like reserve just in case you run out of memory. So if you're doing some like big projects in like Adobe or something like that that use a lot of RAM and you just don't have that, you can use this as kind of like a, a fail safe in, in words. Uh, but that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And I'll see you guys in the next one.